Good day and welcome to another exciting episode um, in our Tableau custom chart series right here on the Super Data Science YouTube channel. Very excited to have you today. Let's jump into it. Today we are looking at Venn diagrams. Now you might know it, you might not, but let's have a quick look at what this is. Right, so the Venn diagram represents a set of overlap and um, gives us an idea of sharing characteristics. It's used to teach elementary set theory as well as illustrate simple self relationships. It is also referred to as a primary diagram, a set diagram, or a logic diagram. And it was conceived around 1880 by John Fenn, or Venn if you prefer. Now I have to say, there is a little bit of criticism around this specific chart. It is not great at giving and comparing quantitative data, but we will have a look at an example in any case, as there might be um, situations where you might need to have, where you might need to use this chart. Let's first have a look at the data. We are working with the mega merchandise file. Now, um, this is specifically on the list of orders, and the fields that are um, included in the file is the order ID, the order date, the customer name, the customer region, sorry, the country, the region, state, as well as city with the postal code. We are also looking at the segment, the shipping date of that specific order, as well as the shipping mode. Now for today's tutorial, we'll basically only be focusing on the customer name and the ship mode, but I think it's great to see what you can derive from a specific data set and hence why we've included all of these fields. As always, this file is available from the Super Data Science website and you can find the link below the video. And let's jump right into it. We open Tableau and we connect to the Excel file. We could just select the mega merchandise. There we go and open. And as we mentioned, we'll be using the list of orders, um, basically tab, and you'll see all the information that we've looked at is in here. We will focus, as I've mentioned, on the ship mode, and more specifically, we'll be looking at economy plus as well as priority, but more once we get into it. Okay, um, let's go into the sheet. We will, that's the only uh, tab we'll be importing. Um, we'll start off with a bit of preparation, and the first thing we'll do is to create different sets. All right, so firstly, let's create a set um, based on the economy plus. So um, as mentioned, we'll be using the shipping mode. So we just right click on shipping mode, create set, and we call this economy plus. Now, um, we'll only be looking at two, so we can select economy plus over there and at the same time also create one for priority. So create priority and select priority. Next, we need to also set a, um, or create a set for economy plus and priority. We've done them individually. Um, so let's create one for um, both of them. So we can just right click on customer name and say create set. Now this time around, it needs to be a little bit different because we need to identify the customers where um, they have both of the shipping um, shipping modes. So we'll go into, well, firstly, let's call this um, economy plus and priority. So it's individuals that have used both or customers that which have used both priority. Sorry for that. And then we'll go into condition. So, and we'll be using a formula here. So in essence, we want to see when they are obviously in both. So the overlap part. And for this, we'll use a um, sum and we'll sum basically, or we'll use a formula to see whether in both. So we'll obviously be summing if it's if it appears in more than one, or if it appears more than once in a specific mode, which we'll do now. Um, and I'm just typing out the, the structure so it'll make more sense. And it needs to be more than once with the other shipping mode. So the first one, we can say um, if, this shipping mode is equal to priority, all right? Then it needs to get, um, output a one and we end the if statement. So in essence, we are saying sum if it has one um, priority shipping mode. So it's obviously gonna create multiples um, for, for every line, but then we're saying if it's more than once. And we are saying, well, for the next one as well, if the shipping mode because right, we're testing not only for priority, but also for economy plus. So if it's in priority and economy plus, um, basically yes. So if it's 
more if it appears more than once in pro once or more than once in priority or economy plus then we output it to this specific set all right so with the sets created we can now create the positions where these circles or diagram the circles need to be um, displayed in this diagram all right firstly we will create a calculated field um, for this which we will call outer vent position so this will um, give us the outer vent position and the way we will do that is by saying let us count the number of distinct and we use the count d function it's then use the number of count distinct the right where our priority and we'll just say if our priority set all right then we output the customer name so this uh, sorry i think we just need an end statement there right so in essence if our customer is in priority is in the priority set or if our records in the priority set then output the customer name and we will only then be counting the unique customer names all right and that will give us a position on our graph you'll see once we put it together what it means and next we do the same but this time for the overlap position because we obviously need to place it next to each other so let's call this the overlap position and for the overlap position is as straightforward as taking the outer bend position and dividing it by two um, that would then give us obviously it's um, halfway and, and make them overlap properly all right and the last position field we need to create is let's just right click and add a calculated field we'll call this one economy plus and priority customer prior sorry <laughs> difficult one to type um, let's just also fix that l over there so it's economy plus and priority customers what this in essence means or what we'll put in here is we will again count all the distinct customers but in this case we'll only count it if the economy and priority plus set all right if that is true so if, if it appears in both then we will output the customer name all right so you can see and this position you'll see that when we use to put actually the label in for the overlap all right so let's just see why it's not um, showing here properly there we go so it was because of the the close of the quote and we need an end obviously using an if statement so count if it is in the set or if it's in true then output the customer name all right then we can move over in creating our view the exciting part all the prep has been done all right so firstly we'll take the number of records and put that into our rows shelf and we'll just change that to a minimum what this does it creates an axis and it will line up both of these um, circles when we put them in properly um, so we just create minimum one it will not change it will always stay the same next we will use the um, two positions we've created now uh, we spoke about the outer vent position so let's put that into columns as well as the overlap position we'll put both there now we can see um, it has placed them this one at about 450 that one by 220 but we obviously wanted to display this on a on the same graph and we'll just use the dual axis function for that and it's both of them are there hidden a little bit um, now we just need to make sure that we can change the um, the axis a little bit so that we can um, split them up so as you can see this is not what we want at the moment we want them to be separate and what we'll do is we'll take the outer vent position um, create edit access click on edit, edit access and untick the includes zero because at the moment it is putting the zero over there and that's why the access is lined up like it we'll just untick include zero and hit okay and immediately you can see that those are split up and the axis has changed next we can just use the ship mode to put it into color we'll just go to the all marks over there and then we'll put the ship mode into color and you'll see immediately it puts in all of the different ship modes which is not what we necessarily want we only need the economy plus and the priority and we'll click on both holding the control key in and say keep only then on the outer, outer vent shelf we will put a um, change the chart type to a text and that would give us the opportunity to add in the text of the overlap and we will just remove the coloring of the ship color 
because we only need to see the overlap and you can see it has put it right in the middle of these two of these two circles and we will then obviously just also um, go and put in the economy and plus measure the, the in essence the number of customers that have both and incorporate that into the text part so you can see there were 270 um, customers that had overlap we will now clean up the chart a little bit so uh, firstly we will change the chart type to a circle and then we will use the customer name and using a right click and running it over to the size you'll see a, a pop-up coming up and we will say count D because we want to um, put the number of distinct customers name the customer names down and click OK and we would also like to do it for the label because we want to see how many customers are actually in that bubble or in that circle so once again we'll just right click customer name into the label and showing count D or count distinct there we are now we can play around with the size a little bit so we can change we can influence the size of the Venn diagram you can see we can make it as big as possible but we will also change the actual area in which it displays and get them to overlap a little bit like that um, this is just trial and error right so you can move it in making sure it doesn't cut off any of the circles and we can play around with the color so we can make this a 60 percent um, approximately opacity and then you can see we have the number popping out there you can see that the black um, or the actual it is black and um, the text color in there it is behind these two graphs so we can just swap out these two on the column shelf and now it is overlaid at the top all right we can now do some further cleanup so uh, let us remove the headers uh, remove header over there let us go and remove all of these lines as well and we can do that by clicking the format going into the, um, the actual borders removing all of the borders that we don't want to see um, I normally just go and untick all of them to make sure they're all gone but then also the lines because there are lines in it as well so let's go and unclick all of the lines there we go right so we can close that up I think we can do some further work in making it um, stand out a little bit more firstly we can go to the, um, uh, the, the sorry the overlap part where we'll then take the shipping mode and drop that into the label as well like that um, and we can go and edit that so let's just go into the label and say we can we want to highlight the number of um, customers but the shipping mode we can even make a bit smaller so let's make that a seven for instance yeah that looks good and we want to do the same with the, uh, the actual overlap part and for that we need to go into that shelf over there into the text and we said sorry yeah we want to actually let's put that back we want to make the number bold and for the rest we want to make it a seven oh, well, let's just type this in ourselves a seven and there we'll type economy let me just focus economy plus economy plus and priority we just need to check the size of this check make sure it's a seven there we go make it a seven and that is our actual Venn diagram so you can see the overlap part is 270 of the customers for the rest we have it as 502 and 437 I can see that the size is not properly done here let's just go and fix that um, make sure it's consistent so the shipping mode we want to change here to size 7 let's just see if we press enter there we go now they're all consistent and proper um, and there you have it that's your Venn diagram um, you can obviously create more Venn diagrams with three circles, four circles. This method will unfortunately only work with the two circles. But um, yeah, play around, um, use your own examples, and let us know if you have any of your own good examples or improvements on this. And that concludes our uh, tutorial for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a bit, and I hope, I hope you've been inspired to, to give this a try as well. Let us know what you think of the video in the comment section below and um, until we meet next time.